Hi, it's Mark Owen from Moose, Mark's PR, the editor of Punchline Magazine. Today I'm with David Morton. Hi, David. Hello, Mark. The headmaster of King's School, and here we are in this fantastic room overlooking the cathedral. Sir, why have you invited me here today? So we wanted to bring you here today, Mark, to show you one of the most exciting developments that's going to take place in King's and also for the cathedral and for the city of Gloucester. We've got an amazing 13th century uh, sixth form centre at the moment, but over the years it's got very tired. Uh, some of the historical features have been lost, so we're planning a complete redevelopment starting in just a few weeks' time. Uh, we're investing over £2 million in the building, uh, and it's then going to be available for the students, of course, in term time, uh, but also for the cathedral uh, and for the local community to come out and let for 17 weeks of the year. So it should be great for the community and great for the school as well. Now you've got some plans downstairs, if that's right, so we can have a quick look at those. That's right, yes. So, uh, so this room itself, these panels are absolutely amazing. Are they staying? Or? They are. The panels are definitely going to stay. We're going to restore all the heritage features that we can to the building. Uh, we're going to put a drive corridor through on the first floor and uh, so the students will be able to pass through that area preserving all the natural oak uh, of the building and all of the existing small rooms are going to be uh, opened up again to make big spaces so it should be a really impressive uh, inspirational 21st century working environment. We're also trying to make sure that the students are ready for that working environment um, by not just sitting in traditional classrooms, but having breakout spaces which are flexible uh, so they can sometimes work collaboratively, they can be online at the same time, they can be giving presentations, uh, thinking about the skills they're going to need for 21st century working. So here are the plans over here, can you can right. talk, talk these through? Hello there, sorry about that. <laughs> so the plans are over here, uh, we're aiming to restore the original undercroft of the building uh, by combining three rooms together into one uh, to make a large social space for the pupils. They'll have their own sixth form cafe. Uh, all the support services will be down there for them. And then on the top floor, there's going to be a fantastic uh, study space which will be supervised by the staff uh, where the pupils can work quietly uh, and get on with their preparation they need for their lessons. And then the classrooms themselves are going to be enhanced. Uh, we've got that lovely oak panelled room that we were in before which is going to be restored so when they need breakout spaces and they want to work together there's a great environment for them to do that as well and, and does it lead through this room as well it does it comes right through so you'll see that some of the features date back some of the original stoneworks of the 13th century when it was a small chapel uh, we've got some lovely stonework here all of which will be restored and then we've got areas here like these original samson columns which hold up the whole of the rest of the building with some beautiful carvings on which are going to be uh, restored as well and it's surrounded by a garden and it looks up to the cathedral so there's going to be a great great space for the community uh, during the holidays as well as the school now this has been funded in a rather different way than normal how, how has it been funded? it has been it's been really innovative uh, we've done a bond issue to our parent community so we've offered bonds of a thousand pounds to the parents and uh, there's a seven year repayment on those bonds uh, and we've raised 1.8 million pounds through that bond issue uh, which is a massive chunk of, of the work uh, and by taking one or two more pupils in the sixth form over that seven year period we'll be able to pay the whole thing back uh, in seven years time so the schools avoided expensive borrowing rates. And how, how um, uh, when, sorry, when is the work going to start and how long will it take? The work starting uh, just before Easter, uh, we've, we've deliberately done that because the sixth form will largely be off on their study leave doing their exams uh, in the summer term and we hope to be finished by September ready for a launch event uh, in, in September 2020 so it should be about four months. We've used uh, local architects like Roberts Limbrick, uh, the builders, the town and city builders who are Gloucester based, so 